Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tubby Time. Hope you're all doing well. Today, we are making one of my favorite things to get at a Chinese restaurant, but we're a little limited on time, so we're gonna take some shortcuts. We're making delicious pepper steak with white rice and veggies. It's gonna be great. Let's get into it. All right, so we're a little limited on daylight. I got my lights up. I hope this will work. I wanna to try to get this recipe done before we go inside or lose all of our daylight. You might notice I have this concoction on here, this pot of water. Why do I have a pot of water? Well, that's what we're gonna be making our rice with. And I was thinking to myself, you know, we could make fried rice or something like that. I just, that's a whole separate video. I'll, I'll do that another day. So we're gonna be making just normal basmati basmati, however you pronounce it, white rice in this pot, which is just about at a boil. One thing that's great about this flat top is you can use it for instances like this to boil something while you're cooking something else. But the crappy part is, is that it takes a while to get up to temp. So I'm sick of waiting. I'm just going to throw this in. I got two cups here. And we're going to let that come to a boil. Got about three tablespoons of or teaspoons of butter. Throw that in and a pinch or two of salt. Always be sure to rinse your rice beforehand. Rinse your rice, it's a tongue twister. Get all that extra starch off. I'm just gonna wait for that to come to a boil before I do anything else with it. Oh, also, if you ever cook on a blackstone griddle with a pot, this gets very hot. Almost burned myself. So while we're waiting for that, let's talk about what else we got going on here. I just turned these other two zones in the middle on a high heat. We're gonna use that area to saute our veggies. And here's where the time-saving part comes in. These amazing frozen vegetables are your best friend if you're looking to cut out prep work or something like that. I got two bags of these. These are 16 ounces each, which should be more than enough for this recipe. And also, what do I got here? This is some delicious flank steak that's been marinating in the fridge for about four or five hours. The marinade I use for this is very simple. It looks a little odd because it is. This is about two and a half pounds of flank steak just cut into tiny strips. I could have tenderized them a little bit if I wanted to and just flatten them out more, but I didn't because I was in a rush. So all I did is cut them into strips, throw together the marinade, put it in that bag, and we were good to go. The marinade is two, fuck, it's about a quarter-ish cup soy sauce about a third-ish cup of water, uh, two tablespoons of white vinegar. You can use white wine or distilled or whatever. Just over a teaspoon of cornstarch. I'm sorry, no, tablespoon of cornstarch. And then a shit ton of coarse ground black pepper, the same stuff I use for uh, my barbecue rub. Because obviously the highlight of any dish we make is pepper. Right, I'm still waiting for this to come up to temp, so I'm gonna start with everything else here. Let's throw some oil down right there. So in here we have carrots, red peppers, green beans, cauliflower, something like that, a little bit of onion, broccoli. That's looking real good. Try to get this into one little area here. As always, throw down a little bit of pepper or a lot of pepper, whatever you prefer and our good friend salt. Now I could use fresh ginger here, but I'm just gonna use the granulated ginger. Don't want too much of it. Just wanna give it that flavor. Give that a mix. Oh, the smells here are amazing, I mean, believe me. All right, the rice is bubbling, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna move it over here to the side that's off and let it just retain that heat from what's already cooking. Throw the lid on and come back to it in a few. These are a little moist, so I wanna get them crispy if I can, maybe. We'll see. I'm gonna put down some oil over here for the steak, which is going to take no time at all, most likely. And I am using a gloved hand here. 
because I want the marinade, I don't want to just dump it on, I want the marinade to be left over so I can throw some on later, I don't want it to cook off. So I'm going to try to get these nice and cooked and then I'll throw the rest of the marinade on. Trying to put these down as evenly as possible. Last one. See just little strips like that. That's what we got left for the marinade. So we're going to mix that in with the veggies in a few. Mix our veggies up one more time. They're getting there. Last thing I'm going to add to these veggies is a nice heaping spoonful or two of our friend garlic. We'll give it a nice mix. I didn't want the garlic to burn, so I waited to add that. Oh, it smells so good. Steak's looking like it's coming along nice. And let's check out our rice. Ow. Oh yeah. Actually, I would say almost done. Looks great. I'm not going to lie to you. With this steak, when I made the marinade, it did not smell good. I was a little concerned. The steak should be pretty much cooked. Let's just see where we're at. Give that another minute and we'll mix everything together. Rice is done, so I'm just gonna leave it there uncovered. Cause we're almost all set. All right, I say it's time to mix it all together. Look at those colors, it looks absolutely stunning. And last thing we're gonna do, don't forget about our trusty marinade. We're just gonna dump all that in there. Nothing goes to waste. And we'll just give that another minute or so to cook down so it's a safe temp. In the meantime, let's cut up some of these scallions. That looks good. Save the rest for Kayla. One more. Perfect. Let's get some of this rice on the plate. One more mix. That looks so good. Spoon. All right. Look at that. Freaking gorgeous. Okay. I have a spoon, so I'm going to try my best here. Um, let's just do this. It's not bad. I think... Um, hmm. That's just really good. I think maybe a little more saltiness is needed in the steak, but it's not bad. Definitely a, a, a pretty high ginger soy profile, but I would eat this every day, all day. So that concludes another episode of Tubby Time. Thank you so much for your support and checking out our channel. If you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, comment, give us ideas, and all that good stuff. I'm going to go be fat. Until next time, stay tubby.